In this question, they tell us that Raymond drew triangle ABC below. And ABC just refers to the letters here, A, B, and C. That's our triangle. What is the measure of A? They write angle A, like that, in triangle ABC. So they want to use a protractor and measure this angle. So of course the angle is formed by, by two lines. So let's get our line tool out here. This line and this one. So we want to measure the arc between them. And to do that, we use a protractor. So um, I'm going to load this video in HD. I don't want it to be too blurry here. But check to see if you can switch to HD to really see how this works. So every protractor has some kind of either point down here or a marked point and a zero degree line. So the key is to line up right this point right here, this intersection point, where our two lines, oops, where our two lines meet. So these are our two lines that meet at this point right here. So we want to line up our protractor, and there'll be some, you can look on your protractor, there'll be some kind of intersection or dot there, and it'll be in different spots or different protractors, but you want to line that up precisely at the dot there. And now there are two tracks of numbers. Basically, an angle opens up, right? If we assume this is the starting point down here, and then it opens up this way, that means the larger the opening, the larger the angles, right? So we use this inner track of numbers on this protractor because if you follow the numbers, it goes 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. It's counting up. In other words, the angle is getting larger as we open up this way. If the angle was starting on the other side, we would use the other track of numbers. So, so, so what's the angle? Well, how do we do this next step? Well, what I usually do with a protractor is I look, try to follow the line, and imagine where it would hit right here. So I'm gonna, I mean, I see that it hits basically at 100 degrees, right? So you can mark it maybe up here, and then, just to be clear, extend your line if you had to, but we don't even need to. This line reaches the inner track. It's almost precisely at 100 degrees. So I would say angle A is about 100 degrees. Now for the next part, they say, hey, what's the, uh, oh, draw an angle that measures the same number of degrees as angle B. So first, let's measure angle B. Where is it? Well, angle B is right here. So again, we line up our protractor to, to hit that intersection point, like that. There it's lined up. And this time, we're using the outer track of numbers because the angle's opening this way, right? The second line's over here. So what's this angle measure equal to? Well, you'd get your pen and you'd find where this line meets out here, right? And you can see it basically hits at 50 degrees right there. So this angle is 50 degrees. And if you're unsure, again, just make sure it lines up right here at the intersection point and that this line on the protractor, it could be a line or the bottom of the protractor, lines up with that other line on the triangle. So we have to draw an angle that's 50 degrees. So let's do that. So we'll scroll down a little bit on the page. Oops. So how do we draw an angle? Well, we can use the protractor. And the way we do it is to first just draw a line with the bottom of the protractor. So a, a, an angle is made from two lines. So we'll draw the first one. Right, use the bottom of your protractor as a ruler. Now take your protractor, right, and I would drag it to the end of the line because it's easiest, but you can do it anywhere as long as you mark the point. You're going to mark this target or line it up with the end of the line, just like that. So what that's doing is lining up the intersection point for the next line or the next ray. And now you're going to mark at 50 degrees. Again, I'm using the outer track because the angle is going to open up this way. Right, The numbers are counting up. As I open the angle further and further, right, the numbers should be higher and higher. So I mark it at 50. And now I just take my protractor, turn it, and use the bottom as a ruler to connect that point to the end point of the line, right? Just like something like this, almost there. And now you just take your pencil or whatever and draw the second angle. And I always recommend checking, so let's see if we actually accomplished. Did we actually draw a 50 degree angle? Again, line up this target to the intersection point. That was the end of the line for us. Make sure that's the zero point. And there you can see the lines crossing right at 50 degrees. So now, I mean, the last step is just to label it. Draw an arc and write 50 degrees on the inside and you're done. All right, thanks a lot.